Hey, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a general love reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Any other placement you want to watch, go ahead. Feel free. I'm going to pick an oracle card for you, and I'll read this at the end of your reading. You know, if I can shuffle the cards, that would help. Or not. You get moving on. If this reading doesn't resonate with you, don't force it to resonate. Take what's for you. Leave the rest behind. It's a general reading, not a personal reading. I do have um, a playlist with other Virgo readings for you if you want to check that out. Also, I do personal readings. My link is in the description box below. Um, yeah, that's it. That's it. General love for Virgo. I knew that card was going to pop out. The Five of Swords there as your something you don't see coming. I don't see this as another person. I see this as you. I see this as some maybe some self-sabotaging behavior, probably, maybe, sort of, kind of. Um, we'll see. Uh, right now, what I'm seeing for you is you might be going through a cycle. Um, hopefully, it's ending soon. Um, in the past, I see you really wanting higher level of commitment. Really wanting that happy, happy life, that marriage type of thing with somebody you're attracted to. Um, your current energy is, you know, moving away from drama keeping your distance. Um, we see traveling for you, definitely. Yeah, maybe maybe meeting some people you're very attracted to. In the near future, uh, I do see a divine pairing here, actually. Um, very spiritual divine pairing. So we'll see where that goes, Virgo. Um, I do see you manifesting what you want in love. So let's see. I feel like you're kind of in a cycle that um, you might be hanging out with friends a lot right now. You might be trying to enjoy yourself because um, you feel like something in your life isn't changing. Um, and I see that you're a little defensive about it. I understand. Um, you're giving me that vibe of I'm such a good person and I've been taken advantage of. Now, the fact that it's a cycle, I do got to say, I'm not saying you're not a good person, but what I'm saying is you keep getting taken advantage of, but you keep on giving to situations that would do that to you. And I feel like these are people who you let back into your life. Yeah, I feel like you wanted to be with someone uh, long term and 
they were manipulating, you know? I see an ending to that relationship in the past. I left you kind of confused because I feel like you gave a lot to it. But it was like almost, now that you look back at it, it's kind of like, was it even real? Was that relationship even real? Yeah, it's it's very much an energy of this person that you wanted to be with. You were surprised to see how stubborn they were, how they didn't want to grow into more, how they have a lot of insecurities that you probably didn't notice at the time. And it shocked you to see that because I feel like this person put on this, this persona that they had all that they needed, that they were grateful for everything, that they just, a, a good guy face, not to say that they were a bad person, but that energy underneath is like icky. I, I can't even lie. That energy underneath sucks. They're scared of a lot of things. They have a lot of insecurities. I feel like you invested a lot into this past relationship. You really thought it was going to be something that would work out. And when it didn't work out, you know, it, it really did leave you in your head. You were very much confused over it. Very much not in a good place. Yeah, I feel like you want something... You want to be with somebody who makes you feel good about yourself, who's there to support you, someone who you can have amazing sex with. I'm going to say what I see. That's what I see. Someone who's stable, you know, someone who doesn't have drama, someone who you can marry, live with. That's what you want to move towards. I'm not taking all these. At this point, I'm just being clumsy. It was going to come out anyways. That's the one I just flipped over. So when it's meant to come out, it'll come out. I feel like it, it's very hard for you to hold back. Um... In your attempt to move on. I feel like you want to move on faster than you should. I mean, it's a good thing to move on. Don't get me wrong. But you do have that magician energy. Just be mindful. Make sure all your healing is done. Because moving on is great. But with the ten of, uh, ten of Wands here in the position it's in for me, it kind of feels like it's heavy. It's, it's too much to bear. To move on. You, you got to want to go forward. Make sure it doesn't feel f like a forced moving on. That you do take the lessons that you learned back there. You know? If that makes any sense. I hope it does. I feel like... Uh, I feel like you're moving here. Some of you can be actually moving physically places, you know. Some of you could be moving. Some of you could be changing jobs. The way I see this is that, you know, in your in your steps to moving on, you start to see things in a whole different light. You really are. You're starting to see things different. Starting to see things more positive. Yeah, I feel like in the past, in the past, this person's energy, like, you've given to situations that haven't given back to you. You've lost sleep over it. You felt taken advantage of. 
um, you weren't your best self in those relationships because it's like that person, this could be multiple people in, in the past who did this to you. Like, like I said, a cycle of people and by a cycle of people, I mean like you keep attracting the same type of person, different bodies. And it's like, you can't, you can't be your best self with somebody who doesn't give equally in a relationship and keeps you feeling like, you know, you give the most and you get taken advantage of. And that's not a place where you want to be anymore. I feel like you're learning how to love yourself more. That's great energy right there. I see it being a slow, slow process, but that's okay. That's okay. Definitely an energy of giving to yourself more, of being patient with yourself. Definitely. That is beautiful. Yeah, I see you being stubborn, stubborn, stubborn about moving on, setting boundaries, moving on, and being happy doing that. That's really good energy. Not letting anyone mess up what you got going on. You're moving in a really good direction and you got everything that you need. It's good. Get moving on. Let's read that for you. Keywords, change, cycle, stagnation, authenticity. Change is necessary Change is a necessary part of your natural world. This is also true of relationships. As a person evolves, so must a relationship or it will stagnate. This card is a reminder to examine your current relationships to see if they still feed your soul and help you grow. Are you staying in a relationship because it seems okay and there's no real reason to end it, but you feel like something is missing? Do your relationships have substance or bring you joy? Are you able to... Be your authentic self in your relationships. Ah, I can't read. <laughs> this card suggests that it may be time to walk away in some respect. This can be an actual ending of a relationship or simply taking a break to soul search. This is your time. Give yourself the space and permission to determine what you feel. To determine what you need and what you want. And then decide if it can be found in the current relationship as it exists now. If not, it may be that important time to make some essential changes. That is your reading, Virgo. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.